We have decided to launch an exclusive merch dedicated to our love for Maui. Love it. Look at me a little bit more, Lily. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Welcome back to Not Enough Nelsons. Today is a very exciting day. This is the first day we've ever done this in all of the history of Not Enough Nelsons. If you guys remember a few months ago, well, let me just do a recap real quick. We're talking today to go to Maui. Hurry guys. It is honey. We don't want to miss the plane just because we are deciding how to do our sweatshirt. Let's go. Right, guys, we have all woken up. We're all ready to go. Say hi, Beckham. Hello there. All right, we gotta go. I had to book six tickets separate. Jamie and Journey are going to go with Ledger, Beckham, and Elsie. Three hardest All of these three are gonna drive their car over and meet us there. Just realize it's all gonna be good. To the Delta counter. Let's go. You go, you go, go over to Delta. You guys stay here. They have to separate us. My mama heart's gonna be a little bit nerve wracked and I feel for these girls, but it's gonna work out. Guys, they stop boarding in like less than 10 minutes. Good job. I don't think it's a full flight. I think we'll be able to sit wherever we want. There was a bushfire too close to the airport. So they were gonna have to make us either go back to California. We are grateful to be on the ground and here. We called Ellie and Jamie and Journey and they're oh. gonna come get us really fast. Now we are headed to get the bus. Just got the rental van. All right, jump in, jump in, jump in. Yeah. So this morning I went to go turn on the bathroom light and there's no power. The power is out because there is a hurricane. There's high wind warnings. Surfing got canceled. Our zip lining got canceled. Our first thing we're gonna try to do is find somewhere that we can grab some breakfast food. They have like a backup energy thing. So they got the elevators to work in our hotel, but yeah. nothing else. I kept yeah. dreaming that we were like in, I don't know what I was having, not having good drinks. There is no stoplights or you can go to this little tiny market. Door closed due to power out. Got back to our hotel. They gave us stuff for breakfast. I'm a little worried about tonight, but we're gonna just go out and see if we can brave the wind and still have fun on our vacation, even during a power outage. You look beautiful. The wind is not holding back these girls for looking for boys to hit on. I'm gonna try to go secure where we're gonna have lunch and dinner. We're gonna check the weather. We fly out tomorrow and it's pretty windy to fly out, so I'm just gonna verify like our flights are still okay. All right, those boys just flogged by the back of Sadie. I wish no, I would have no, filmed it. They run by because of you. They crouch <laughs> down right here, like... and then they just <laughs> the rest of it. <laughs> What's going on? Huge fire. There's what? kids are even saying that there's smoke outside. That you can see that. Oh no! It's a big fire over there. Oh boy, it's pretty bad over there. Praying for the people they can get out fast. It doesn't cause too much damage. Yeah, guys, not so bad, just turned to really bad. We just heard from one of the workers here that they are actually evacuating some of the people here to go and make sure their house is okay. Ugh, oh, so scary. I think that maybe a cell tower is down because we definitely do not have cell or Wi-Fi. I just feel like we're gonna be okay. I'm not super stressed. The wind was so strong, it blew two of the chairs into the pool. Look at that fire. It is still going so strong. 
Lahaina is still majorly on fire. That looks relatively close. But just in case, I say we pack our bag. Make sure you have a, a one whole thing of water per person and make sure that all your phones are charged. Let's say a prayer really fast, especially for the people in Lahaina because that's really sad. Thanks to amazing firefighters, I'm sure, that are out there risking their life to make sure everyone's safe. It looks like it's going down a little bit. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay guys, I got the kids asleep. I'm looking at that fire. It's not making me very happy in my heart, that's for sure. It is 6 a.m. and I still see smoke coming from that way. My mom was calling me. Literally cannot move from this spot on my bed because as soon as I moved, she couldn't hear me. We must have a tiny bit of service right here. What a blessing, right? And I was able to call Benji. He's not on this trip with us, if you didn't know, because hence girls soccer started for high school and he's the high school head coach. Our plane leaves tonight and I'm not able to get on the internet or anything and so I also asked him if he would please check. We have a flight out tonight. Both roads to the airport are closed. So I don't really know what to do. We'll just pay for the room for one more night. But we'll still do what we thought making our way to the airport. If that way if we can't we have a room to come back to. That's kind of the plan of action. Over there where all that smoke is covering. We've stayed in that area many times. The fire is just taken out a ton of it. Oh, it's just like heartbreaking. I just got a report from the news. They are allowing people to leave on the bypass road. We're going to leave at 1.30. I went out in the hallway in this cute family. I asked them if they were in the fire and they said yes, they had to evacuate. And I said, how was your house? And they said, our whole house is burnt down. Is that not the saddest thing? It is awful. I just feel so bad for the people who've lived here for so long and all of their stuff is just gone. I need to put on a brave face for the family, but I'm terrified. It's a lot. Anyone's time. All right, we are setting off. 16 of us, two vans. All right guys, my worst nightmare. I think they're just trying to turn people around. I want like a quarter to a half a tank of gas. And he's like, well, that's a problem. We have been looking for a gas station. Gonna go to our room. I just found out though that the banyan tree, even the, the huge banyan tree in the middle of Lahaina, I think has also been burnt down. The school by it, like everywhere that we've been. It was like, I'm bad nightmare. Gas station by the airports are working and so if we could get on that side of the island then we'd be okay. I want to say one last prayer and try to go see if they'll let us through. Wait a minute. Wait mom they're letting people go through I think. Are they letting people through to the bypass now? Yeah, straight to the bypass only. Okay we're gonna go get the kids. We're we got this. In the car. I'm running and gathering everybody at the airport. They're letting people through. We might make it if we go right now. We're setting off, you guys. Say a prayer that we can get there on a quarter of a tank of gas. Get all this all burnt. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. The church is still standing that we went to on Sunday. Looks like there's a lot of people here. They do have these school buses bringing people. That's awesome. We were able to get the little and those three adult cute girls on a flight right now. We are safely boarded on the plane. We're gonna take off here in a minute. Thank you guys. So among all of the suitcases that my family had in Maui. We just got back a few days ago. As many of you know, and hopefully all of you know, that there has been a huge fire in Lahaina, which is just a few minutes outside of where we were staying. It is so hard to explain, but there are so many families there that have not only lost their homes and their cars, but they escaped just barely and have been traumatized by this. There are so many families who I've talked to today. <laughs> they haven't even been eating because they're just so overwhelmed with 
what they've experienced, what they've seen, and what they endured. And it's not only that their houses are gone, but their livelihoods, their businesses, their history. There's just so much history in Lahaina that is just gone in the blink of an eye. so frustrated with myself that I didn't just think to leave everything there. And then I had the best idea of suitcase supplies. I have talked with many of the families that are still in West Maui and we have figured out a plan to help hundreds, maybe even a thousand people through you and through our Nen family. Okay guys, since then, it's literally going to bring me to tears. You guys, with the suitcase supplies, you guys have given over $35,000 worth of supplies to families in Maui. Is that not so exciting? And then the news has spread about our Nen Fam members giving and Melissa Gisoni, you know her from Dance Moms. She is Maddie and Mackenzie Ziegler's mom. She is amazing. I have become good friends with her actually. Guys, she has gathered together enough supplies to fill an entire 45 foot container. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so this is one thing that could go on a plane. This is gas cans and really important generator. That's really important. That could go on a plane right away. Oh, this is hilarious. They spelled hygiene, H-I-G-H-J-E-E-N, hygiene. <laughs> I like it. Food, canned food, flavored drinks. Here is blankets and baby clothes, apparel, clothing, apparel, shoes, blankets, toiletries, linens, and she is gifting all of that to Mana Mentors. They are an awesome nonprofit helping families right there, right now. It's so exciting. Okay, guys, this is a big deal. We wanted to continue to find ways that you as Nantown members and us could help families in Maui, especially with Christmas fast approaching. So guys, we have decided to launch an exclusive merch dedicated to our love for Maui and 100% of the proceeds are gonna go to help families there. Ah! So exciting. And so this is an awesome way for you to help and also a fun way to get some of our merch that is so darling and completely designed to show our love for Maui. So we are super excited. So today I'm gathering up all of the girls and we are going to go to a studio and have a fashion shoot of all of the cute designs. And then guys, wait till the end to see a big giveaway that we are doing for one of our Lucky Nan Fan members who decides to help out Maui by buying some merch. Ah, okay. So I'm going to go gather the girls, going to get all gorgeous and gonna go do this photo shoot. I'm so excited, you guys. I just, oh, this just makes my heart feel so good and hopefully it can make you guys' heart feel good too. So here we go. All right, guys, I have gathered the kids. Let's go have a photo shoot. Ah! All right, guys. <laughs> Sadie just literally fell down. I missed the whole stash. Hey, Sadie, who are you tripping for? Who are you tripping for? Get it? That's what it says yeah. fallen for chat. <laughs> Who you falling for? She says the wrong thing. Hey, babe, I just wanna know what you think about me when the summer's over. Hey, yeah, it's been a blast. I still remember even after October. And when the winter falls, just think about me and I'll keep you warm. Design? What? Just not the same, I admit, like autumn, I'm falling. Woo! Wait, I don't want to go. Time goes flying when you're wrapped in the moment. One more night, just follow me home. Tell me about all of your dreams. Just want to know. Back your shirt a little bit, ladies. How about turn the opposite way? Turn in to Lisa so that your shirt. Love it. Look at me a little bit more, the ladies. There you go. Perfect. Um, arm down, Paisley. Everyone, arm down. And Luke, maybe you go